نحن لن نستسلم ننتصر او نموت الاسلام لنا دينا وجميع الكون لنا وطنا الحمد لله رب العالمين نحمد الله سبحانه وتعالى حمد عباده الحامدين الشاكرين ونصلي ونسلم على رسول الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد I want to briefly talk about the bride of the Quran سورة الرحمن the people of Jannah saying it in a melodious way may Allah سبحانه وتعالى make us from them ومن خاف مقام ربه جنتان and whoever fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has two jannat why does a person in jannah get two jannat one because of the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the other reason this believer has true and sincere faith sincere iman this person has believed and acted upon the belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through actions and words the fear of Allah also brings the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was leaving at Ta'if after receiving one of the most harshest treatments he was walking back Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam to Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with Surah Ar-Rahman and our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was reciting it as he was coming back each time he would reach the ayah فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ and from which things of Allah do you deny and he would always hear a response فَبِأَيِّ نِعْمَةِ نُكَذِّبَكَ يَا رَبُّنَا فَلَكَ الْحَمْدِ And what blessings do we deny? Ya Rabb, our Lord, all praises belong to you. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would always look around and see where these voices are coming from. But he would see nothing. He continued on to his journey until he got home. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wanted to teach the Surah Ar-Rahman to the Sahaba. May Allah be pleased upon all of them. And they were sitting very contently and into learning the Surah from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But they stayed silent. And sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that our brethren from amongst the Muslim jinn responded better than you did. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wanted to teach the Sahaba subhanahu wa ta'ala how to praise Allah every time they reached a particular ayah from the Quran. For example, again, the way sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was reciting Surah Ar-Rahman and each time sallallahu alayhi wa sallam repeated the ayah فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ Which of the favors of Allah do you deny? The Muslim jinn used to reply وَبِأَيِّ نِعْمَةٍ نُكَذِّبُكَ فَلَكَ الْحَمْدِ The jinn used to say What favors can we deny? What can we lie about, Ya Allah? All praises belong to you. This is what Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wanted to teach. Every time you reach a verse in the Quran and it calls for praising Allah, yes, one should pause for a second and praise Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Moving along, just to describe some of the luxuries that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala gives and describes in Surah Ar-Rahman. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad the animals of Jannah will come and 
ask the believers, would you not want to eat from us? We have drunken from the water of Tasneem, the springs of Tasneem, and raised from under the throne of Ar-Rahman. They would offer themselves to the believers. The believers will eat until they're content. And this animal go back alive, subhanAllah, and go back to grazing from the grazings of Jannah under the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-Jannah fiha, the Jannah has La Allah Jannah has that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, and not even contemplated or imagined by any man. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be from amongst these people. Another narration, another tafsir moving along when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing the cushions that the believers will be reclining on different types of silk and they're sitting under the shades of trees and these trees go for hundreds of years one in particular its height to reach its height total height will take a hundred years and this believer will wish just the thought, it hasn't even uttered on the tongue of the believer, wishing to eat from this fruit. Automatically this tree will come down kneeling over so it can be brought to, the fruits of this tree can be brought to this believer without moving. Once we enter Jannah, there is no toiling, there's no hard work at all. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this an eternal bliss. So. As the saying goes, cry now, laugh later. Brothers and sisters, put in your work. Please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, be sincere to him. He knows what your hearts conceal. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us steadfast and sincere until the day we meet him subhanahu wa ta'ala and make us from the people of Jannah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows better and best. We have just barely skimmed the tafsir of Surah Ar-Rahman. Inshallah, until we meet again, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. الإسلام لنا دينا وجميع الكون